Hello, in this session I shall be talking about the correlation analysis between GDP, foreign direct investment, and unemployment rate with interpretation. What are two tails and one tail? Two tailed only say there is a correlation between there is a correlation but it cannot say which direction or it can not say the type of correlation that is whether negative or positive one tail can say the exact relation of the correlation between the two variables that means whether the relation is positive or negative so now we have here the data from 1980 to 2016 which is 37 observation and here we have to state the hypothesis the correlation between GDP and foreign direct investment as you can see it here our hypothesis is null hypothesis there is no positive association between the two variables and the alternative there is a positive association the second correlation we are talking about GDP and unemployment rate the null hypothesis there is no significant negatively association and the alternative there is significant negative association the third pair such as foreign direct investment and unemployment rate null hypothesis these two variables are not negatively associated and the alternative is these two variables are negatively associated and then we run the correlation between the three variables GDP, unemployment rate and foreign direct investment so now we can estimate the person correlation because this is a scaled data or continuous data but if we have a questionnaire we cannot use questionnaire or survey we cannot use person correlation but we can use a Sperman candle correlation because in the questionnaire or the survey the data are not normally distributed usually so here we can estimate person correlation because as I mentioned the scaled data or continuous data between the three variables GDP, foreign direct investment and unemployment rate as can be seen from the table or from the SPSS below GDP, unemployment rate, foreign direct investment this is a scale data, scale measurement so to analyze the correlation between two each peer of these three peer I have to go to analyze correlate we vary it and click OK then I'll take the first peer of the variable let me start with two variable GDP for indirect investment And then we know the relationship between both of them is positive meaning that when GDP increase foreign direct increase and when foreign direct increase GDP increase and vice versa so here we know the relationship between the two variables so we select one tailed because we know that relationship between them and I press OK as you can see it here the correlation between GDP and foreign direct investment 
the correlation is 95.9%. This means there is a strong correlation between a correlation or a relationship between the two variables, foreign direct investment and GDP. That's we initially expect there is association ship should be positive and this mean that there is a positive and statistically significant correlation between foreign direct investment and GDP which is strongly correlated between correlated and statistically significant. The other peer GDP with unemployment I'll go to as you can see it here, go to analyze, correlate, bivariate, and then I use the second peer GDP with unemployment rate. And here we can see that there is a negative relation. So there is a direction here, negative correlation between GDP and unemployment rate. Accordingly, we use person and one tilde. Then I press OK. You can see there is a negative correlation between GDP and unemployment and this means that 90, 81.5% the correlation between GDP and unemployment rate which is strong negative correlation and statistically significant between the two variable GDP and unemployment rate which means that if, if GDP increase uh, unemployment rate decrease and if GDP decrease unemployment increase and vice versa. This is the second pair of the uh, variable we use in the, the third pair such as foreign direct investment and unemployment rate. I'll go to analyze, correlate, bivariate and then we use foreign direct investment and unemployment rate. Here the relation is supposed to be negative and when we say negative we have to use the one tilde but if we don't know the relation or the correlation between these two variables we have to use two tilde for person correlation and then we run that. Now we expect that the correlation between foreign direct investment and unemployment rate is negative. So if foreign direct investment increase, unemployment rate decrease and vice versa. So we use one tilde, then I press OK. So here there is negative correlation between unemployment rate and foreign direct investment. There is negative strong correlation between unemployment rate and foreign direct investment and statistically significant which means that the correlation between foreign direct investment and unemployment rate represent minus 79.3 percent which is greater than 5 percent meaning that we reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative meaning that there is no there is no positive correlation between the two variables. This is work according to the economic theory because there is negative relation be between foreign direct investment and unemployment rate. And this is a real scenario of the population phenomenon which is goes with the economic theory because normally when foreign direct investment goes up, unemployment rate goes down and vice versa. The, the fourth correlation we are going to use for the three variable which is unemployment rate. I go to analyze by various with GDP unemployment rate and foreign direct investment and here we know the relation or the correlation between GDP foreign direct investment positive GDP for unemployment negative foreign direct investment and unemployment negative so we use 
one tail. If we don't know the, cor the correlation between this variable, we use two tails. So press OK, and here you can see that the correlation between unemployment rate and foreign direct investment, uh, strong negative correlation and is statistically significant, then we reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative. As we mentioned earlier at the beginning in the hypothesis, what we said here, the null hypothesis, as we mentioned, the null hypothesis for the correlation between GDP and foreign direct GDP, foreign direct investment, Null hypothesis, there is no positive association and the alternative, there is a positive association as you can see here, strong positive relationship and reject null hypothesis, accept the alternative. The second pair of GDP and unemployment, GDP and unemployment, you can see there is negative, as you mentioned, null hypothesis, there is no significantly negative association, but alternative, there is significantly negative association because here p-value less than 5% we reject null hypothesis and we accept the alternative hypothesis and the third the third hypothesis the third one such as foreign direct investment and unemployment rate null hypothesis these two variables are not negatively associated and alternative there is these two variables are negatively associated and as you can see it here, foreign direct investment and employment rate, the correlation strong, negative, and correlation and statistically significant because we reject nil and accept the alternative. So the alternative, these two variables are negatively associated. This is all the variable we used in this session, and we interpret the correlation between these variables that there is a strong and positive correlation between GDP and uh, foreign direct investment and statistically significant, meaning that there is a strong positive correlation between GDP and foreign direct investment, and there is a strong correlation between foreign direct investment and uh, unemployment rate, meaning that there is a strong and negative relationship between foreign direct investment and unemployment rate. And this is just a summary for the analysis or the correlation analysis between these three variables with interpretation. But here we have to remember that we cannot use person correlation with the survey or questionnaire because probably the data are not normally distributed. So if the data are not normally distributed, it means that we have to use man or candle correlation between these variables. And here I'm going to post another video how to use the type of correlation between the and the questionnaire or the survey. Thank you so much.